Here we are with the Sauber Mercedes team of Jon Louis Schlescher and Jochen Mass. This is the Mercedes lineup. All the main men. <laughs> A sense of humour before the race. Final checks. All the tension by this time is all over and done with. Sauber Mercedes have already qualified on pole position. Indianapolis 500. Women in the ends from these three rings. Ritz Kratzpoiner. Keen condom is the Giving us the benefit of his father. Opinions with Le Mans. Father, for me. The car. Of course, being a Sauber Mercedes C291. The British flag flies high here, of course, with the Jaguar team. Tom Walkinshaw Jaguar. Most of these people have been here all week. That's the new grandstand. Totally different and brand spanking new. This is the Mercedes Sauber number one. Jean Louis Schlesser, the Frenchman, and Joachim Mass, the German. The partnership was quickest in practice at 331.270. That's 231.74 kilometers an hour lap average. So I think that said it all, just how quick they're going. Number four, that's the Silk Cup Jaguar of Teo Fabi, the Italian, and Kenny Aitchison, the British driver. Tom Wilkinshaw, apprehensive of course. Lights are blazing, Silk Cup Jaguar. That's the 33 car of Derek Warwick, much favoured man and many race wins, and Bob Vellick. And of course Andy Wallace bringing up the rear. And the extremely quick Peugeot Talbot Sport car, the Peugeot 905, Mario Baldi and Philippe Alio, Jean-Pierre Jabouille, backing them up of course. And the Porsche Kramer 962. The Kramer Porsche, Manuel Reuter, Harry Teufenen and JJ Leto. And a very quick man coming up in Formula One at the moment. So, 58 car. That is the car of Conrad Motorsports. Porsche 962 again. Hans Stuck, Derek Bell and Frank Jelinski. And Joachim Stuck, superb saloon car driver. And not half bad when it comes to this class of sports car racing either. My German is diabolical, so I won't try and translate what this man's saying. But no doubt enthusing about the race ahead. The Mazda Speed. Now this is the one, Volker Wiedler, Johnny Herbert and Bertrand Gasho. This is the car that has been trying. The Japanese have never won this race. And it's like the holy grail of motorsport to the Japanese. They really, really want to win Le Mans like no other. That's the second car of the Mazda Speed with Pierre Dierdon, Yuririo Tarada and Takoshi Yorino. 31, that is the Sauber Mercedes of Carl Wendlinger, Michael Schumacher and Chris Poitner that we heard from earlier. Well, Saturday in Le Mans. It's a very, very busy place, there's no doubt about that. You can buy everything to do with motorsport here during the couple of days leading up to the 24 hours. An absolutely huge cult following. There's a view down a bit from the start and finish line. This is the way they'll be heading towards our camera. And the odd national anthem blasting away in the background. This year, 250,000 people spectating, which is a record, even for Limon. So, we're on the grid. First row on the grid. Leads off. Bergio Talbot, 905 of Mario Boldi. They leave off on their warm-up lap. So, one lap before the start. 
and reaching speeds of up to 220 odd miles an hour here on the fastest part of the track down into Indianapolis so that will give you some idea of just how fast the track is even with the chicanes and modifications they put in the car six there that is the Peugeot Talbot of Keki Rosberg and Yannick Dalmas so the start we had a clean start the Peugeot's clear off from the start Sauber Mercedes there, number one of Gianluigi Shui Schlescher. Peugeot's, of course, running the latest specifications for their 905s. In car. This is in car with number 18, Mazda of David Kennedy, Stefan Johansson and Maurizio Sandro. So we're going to have a lap here from the camera. Thirty-five, silk cut Jaguar there, David Jones. While they sort themselves out, we'll have a look at some of the things that uh, have been done here before. As far as makes, which I think is an important factor considering they're running, running two different types of classification this year. Obviously they've been allowed to run for another year the turbo cars, but under a weight restriction. So we expect to see the, the latest spec vehicles clear off in the distance, the 3.5 litre cars clear off in the distance, but the heavier turbo cars, that's the Mercedes there, the Sauber Mercedes, number one car of Jean-Louis Schlescher. Porsche have won 12 races here at Le Mans, that's a record. No one else has won more races than Porsche. Ferrari, believe it or not, have won nine. Jaguar have won seven, quite a few of them lately. Alfa Romeo and Ford have won four. Matra Simca have won three. And back in the olden days, Bugatti and La Lorraine have won two. Championship points that have been gained on this track, as we see the Peugeot force its way under car 44 there. That's the Euro racing car of John Sheldon, Charles Lickett. So, 51. That's the Salomon Primer goes, pause 962, Otto Altenbach, Jürgen Lassig and Pierre Yiva back on the track. Meanwhile, back with car six, Peugeot Tolbert, 905, Keki Rosberg. That's the car of Mario Baldi, number five. The Turbo Sport Peugeot 905. To go through the qualification list, Sauber Mercedes in pole position. Silk Cut Jag started from number two. And that's the first pit stop there for car six. The Keki Rosberg car is in the pits for the first time. Thirty-nine is a look. Louis de Cartes, Graf Racing, Spice Cosworth, Jean-Philippe Grand, Michel Monsnove, and Xavier Laperia. Meanwhile in the pits, it's all happening. Somewhere in a